guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for X and it's the absolute value of X is equal to negative X. Well, this feels kind of uncomfortable because no matter what you plug into the absolute value, you get a positive number. For example, positive four gives us four and negative four gives us four. And same thing happens with three and negative three or two and negative two and one or negative one. The absolute value will always be equal to a positive number. And then if we do something like absolute value of zero, we would get zero and that would work. This right here would be a solution. If X was equal to zero and we copy this down and plug in zero for both the X's, this is a true statement because negative zero is the same thing as zero. So we know this checks out for x equals zero. Let's try a couple other values. So let's copy this down and plug in two for the x's. Well, absolute value of two does not equal negative two, so this one doesn't work. And let's do the same thing for x equals one. Let's plug in one for both the x's, and this is also not true. Now let's try negative one. If we plug in negative one for this x and negative one for this x, on the right-hand side, the negative and the negative will cancel each other out. So the right-hand side is just one. And this is true. Absolute value of negative one does equal one. So that's interesting, let's try negative two. If we make this x a negative two and this x a negative two, same idea, the negatives are gonna cancel and this will become a positive number. So this checks out. So basically any negative number is gonna work because of the fact that these double negatives are gonna make it a positive. So if your x is negative, that means negative of the x is gonna be positive. So x is negative or zero is the solution to this right here. And we can express this as x is less than or equal to zero. And we have now solved for x, let's put a box around it. How exciting. And if you guys wanna try more of these absolute value equations, I have this page on andymath.com, the link is in the description.